Hi friends, Andrew Carruthers here, Education Director for Sambia. A really essential tool that we use every single day behind the chair is our comb. And I'm going to show you two different approaches in how to utilize especially a handle comb in short men's haircutting. And let's face it, ladies are wearing their hair short too, so it's not just men's haircutting. The first thing that we're going to look at is a horizontal positioning of the comb. Now, there's two different techniques that we see when we're working horizontally. One is shear over comb, and the other is clipper over comb. So we're going to talk about both of those. I'm using a white artist series handle comb on the dark hair, and that's really key for contrast. When we're working horizontally, which means that the comb is horizontal and working in a shear over comb movement, what we have a lot of control over is contouring because that comb cannot just sit against the head and create a straight line, it can also move around the head shape. And especially when we're doing shear over comb, if we want it to be soft and follow the head shape, then it's really important that that comb can move around. So when we're working horizontally, we have a little bit more control of this rounded motion contouring to the head shape. So let me show you one more time with that shear over comb movement. We put the comb in from the bottom. We come in and we start moving the shear before. And as you can see, I, can't, I can travel up in a straight line, but I can also slightly rotate that comb up and around the head, which gives me more option for contouring. Now, if you use a clipper a lot, which I know many of you do, it's the same exact thing. We're just utilizing the clipper to remove the hair versus the comb. So I'm still gonna come in at the bottom and work the clipper across the comb, and you can see the benefit of the width of the comb, but I'm still going to be able to utilize a more rounded shape, a more contoured shape, even though I'm using a, a clipper, which sometimes can give us a really hard line. So that's the benefit of working horizontally. So let's look at it from a vertical sense. If I take the comb now and I rotate it more towards a vertical line, things change quite a bit because now I have a little bit more of a rigid surface and I don't have the ability to contour the head as much. So what I love a lot of times when I'm working vertically to add a sense of softness, I come in on a vertical and then I establish my angle and then I come in and I actually will point cut the, the length away rather than blunt cut. Now this is a lot easier than actually coming in and doing it this way anyway. So with vertical comb placement, we have a stronger line and not as much contour, but we have a different technique that we can use for sure of a comb there. Now of course the other option again is always the clipper. Now if we add a clipper into a vertical placement, we're always gonna get a much more rigid line because as we come up through, and we create a really solid line, plus that comb is a very hard line, it's gonna give me a very mechanical, very rigid feel. And a lot of times that's what we're looking for. So really the decision-making process between whether we come in and work horizontally with the comb or we come in and work vertically is based on do we wanna keep the shape more contoured to the head or do we wanna establish a more solid, more mechanical feeling type of line. Doll heads don't cry and they don't get mad if you make a few mistakes. So grab a comb, grab a doll head, practice your shear and your clipper over comb in these two positions, and let's see what you come up with. If you have any discoveries, post them online and hashtag us at Sambia. Thanks for watching. I'm Andrew Carruthers, Education Director for Sambia.